Hello, this is Tom. Welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be going over how to register a radio. So whether you're a new dealer or an existing dealer that hasn't done it in a while, I'm going to give you the steps. So first you have to log into the Napco ComNet. Alright, so you're going to go to www.napcocomnet.com. If you're an existing dealer, all you have to do is click here and then you put your user ID number and your password in and then click on log on and then if you're a new dealer you do have to register to become a dealer before you can start putting any of the products in so at that point you would just have to go in and fill out the information you know, your user ID, password, retype, you know, all your company information you would click continue and it will ask you for some other things that you you need to activate the account and if you are just new to this you it is going to take 24 hours for it to go through our system so if you are a new dealer now it's 24 hours later all right so now we go in and we're going to log into the existing account and then you click on login all right and you come up with this page all right, at this page, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to Add Device. You're going to come up with your service plan screens. You're going to go into Service Plans. Now, depending upon what you're registering, so if it's a radio, it's going to be all Starlink iSecure plans or iSecure unit. If it's a video, and either video, doorbell video, or the iBridge video, you would go here, put the MAC address into the unit. If it's an iBridge, or an iRemote, you would go here and put the MAC address. So we're going to do a radio. So we're going to put the radio number in. And the radio numbers are on the back of the radio, the back base. Or if you open up the inside cover, it's going to have a sticker in there with a seven digit number. At that point, you press go, and then depending upon what service package you want, is depending upon which one you're going to select here. So you can see you have this basic service pack, monthly service plan, okay, alarm communications. If you want to click to see what's in there, it tells you exactly what's going on with that service plan. If you want to go back, just hit this little arrow button. <laughs> and then you just click on whatever service plan you want. So basically the higher the service plan cost, the more features you have. So if you went into here, and then now we want to go into here, all right, so here you get into the higher security stuff where now there's 200 check-ins and a knock and so on. So we're going to go with the mid plan, which is a 795 plan. Okay, and it just tells us here again what it does. We're going to add that plan, then we're going to go into the subscriber information. Now, this is a new subscriber, so you're going to click on new, and then you just type in the name. And then the email is if you prefer to put your email in or their email in. Now, this subscriber information is going to be the person that you're installing the radio at, so you can use it as a reference when you go back and look at it. So if you want to put the email address and the phone number, you just put that in there. I'm going to put the phone number in. And add subscriber. Okay, and then it's going to come up with all that information in it. It tells you what service plan it is, the radio ID number. User fields are for your reference only. So if you want to put in something special in there, um, you know, reinstall or 
first time install or whatever you want to put in there at that point you go into cart okay it gives you the selection whether you want to do uh, remote arming or notifications uh, remote arming adding to it is either through the data bus on our panels and napco panels or through a key switch arm so it gives you basic arming features text messaging you can have the person emailed or text with notifications from the uh, system to uh, let them know you know opening and closings alarms or anything like that if you want to add any of those you just click on add and it will add it to that service package if you don't you just hit close and at that point it comes up with a description of what's going on and you just do process order and that's pretty much it so now if you go back to my subscribers there's that radio okay now bear in mind that once you do this you will have to wait 15 minutes before you can go in and you know do anything else with the radio because it has to go through our system and it has to go through uh, the cell service system so there is a 15 minute wait and that's basically activating the radios. Thanks for visiting NAPCO Security Video Tech Tips.